Hi, my name's Preston. I live in Myrtle Beach, Surfside Beach to be quite honest. April 1st of 2015, my wife and I agreed, we're oil and water, both of us deserve more. So we split up. 15 years we were together. Maybe one or two or three or four were not horrific for me. I can't speak for her because I'm not in her brain or in her heart. But I sat in my home. Rick James said, cocaine's a hell of a drug. Personally, I'll say, depression's a hell of a drug. So April to August, I find myself lonely. I've got a 16-year-old daughter. I can't just lounge around and do nothing. So one day out of desperation, I ask myself, where would I find me? Where in this town would I go to find myself? To some of you, that's not a normal question. Because you are where you're standing right now. But I'm not where I'm standing right now, nor was I then. And I racked my brain. And I remembered the Saturday closest to the full moon in this town. We do a full moon drum circle. So last August I went. And I was welcomed with open arms. And I was welcomed by family and friends alike. And everybody I know in town today is from that extended family. And I'm very grateful. Since last August in 2015, I've missed one drum circle. It was in November. I had pneumonia. I'm still pissed that I missed it. I also had tickets to go see John Cadlesick in Charleston playing the John Cadlesick band. I don't know which one I'm more upset about missing. Cadlesick or the drum circle. April 1st of this year, April 2nd, I broke my foot off of my leg. Being newly divorced and 43 years old and feeling human again and not being fighting with people, you start burning the candle at both ends. And uh, I don't drink, I don't do illicit substances like I once have done, but I still like to go out late and play with friends and flirt. I like to flirt. I don't go much farther than that, that much. But I wasn't sleeping. So I got home one night, got up to go pee at 2 in the morning, fell asleep standing up, dropped straight down, and snapped every bone in my ankle. So I was on bed rest forever. But this drum circle I went to last August, it saved my life. They say that um, people with dementia and Alzheimer's who can't speak, who can't recognize people, Music touches your brain in a completely different manner than speech and communication and memory. And I go to this little drum circle every month, and I sit there and I bang on a djembe. I can't even play chopsticks on a piano, but I bang my drum every month, and everybody loves me, and I love them. And um, I'm doing something today. I bought all the pieces to make my own drum. I've never worked with wood before in my life. So I'm going to point it over here, what I did. I bought the wood a while ago, you know, measure twice, cut once. I'm dyslexic, and I'm lazy, and I procrastinate, and I'm Irish, so you really don't want to know what I really did. I think I measured three times, and I gave it to somebody else to cut without the measurements. So I finally got the cuts down right today. And here's my, it's called... A cajon. Not to be confused with cojones. You kick somebody in the cojones, you're in trouble. You sit around and rub a man's cajon, he'll like you. So let's see, can we see it? This little wooden box, it's mine right here. It's, um, that's a cajon. And it's something South American instrument, drum. A lot of them have snares inside. I played with one. I didn't like the snare, it was too tinny. I'm a big boy. I'm six foot tall, three, depending on who I'm trying to impress, I'm 320 to 390. I wear it well. So, I made it for my height. They're a lot smaller than that. So we got one, two, three, four, five normal sides here, if I'm facing it. 
Da -da -da. There we go. Five normal sides. And the front of it is called the Tappa, I believe, the Tappan. And it is around here somewhere. It's an ultra, ultra, ultra thin piece of wood. All of these are glued together. Let me tell you, that ain't easy for a one, one man to glue one, two, three, four, five, six, five sides of wood together at once. I broke down and I used a, a staple gun as well to help with it and uh, clamps. I'm waiting for the uh, wood to dry to put the front end, the front on. That's the actual part that you play. There were, all of this is glued together except the front is screwed in lightly and you play it with your hand. And so that front piece vibrates and moves around. You can play it with your feet down here, your hands up here. You hear it's almost vibrating. Some of them have um, snares in them, but like I said, I didn't like the snares. It's too, too high pitched. I have a deep voice. I'm a big man. I like a big cereal. I like a big cajon. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut a big port in the back, like a guitar where uh, the strings resonate through the body. The port on the back of the cajon's where the uh, bass comes out and you can hear it. And um, you can make these for about 30 or $40 worth of wood. Instructions are all over the web. The hardest part is getting over the, how do I do it? Finally, I realized with some wood glue and a um, air-powered <laughs> staple gun, it made it a lot easier. And then a bunch of braces, too, to hold it together to the wood dries. Tomorrow, I can come back through and stain it, cut the new hole in the back, put the front piece on that I can play, and by the 17th, I should be able to play it. You sit on it like a chair, and you rock it back and forth. You put, you put feet underneath it. I've also got a djembe, which is an African-style drum that I love. I, my family wasn't musically active, but uh, I'm a deadhead. Needless to say, I look, I look like one. I wish I could play the organ. I can't. I've got a Yamaha with a built-in Leslie. I don't have a Hammond, but I'm quite sure if I had a Hammond, I would learn to play it instantly. Just like a 13-year-old, if you gave him a Ferrari, could drive like Mario Andretti on his first day. I don't believe it, but I still want a Hammond. Anyway, I digress. This is me, Preston Nethery, toughing it out a mile away from the ocean of Myrtle Beach. As I said, it's hard. Somebody's got to do it. So, y'all come on down here. It's beautiful this time of year. All those silly tourists have left, and the beach is all yours. I'm pouring sweat. The ocean's still bath water warm, and the prices have dropped. Come on down. Stay a while. Take your shoes off. Y'all come back now, you hear? Oh, and go see some live music while you're in town. We got some killer bluegrass here. We got bad cornbread. We got everything you could ever imagine. Okay? Thanks for watching if you did. Love y'all. Bye.